lot of unnecessary worrying about all the things that could possibly go wrong, we finally pulled the trigger and bought two plane tickets back to the U.S. to visit our friends and family in Michigan. I did a lot of research and I came to the conclusion that the cheapest and fastest way for us to get there was to fly from Cabo into Chicago O'Hare and then rent a car to drive the rest of the way. So we're driving around, uh, we're like uh, chickens with their heads cut off uh, because we're trying to figure out the parking situation. There's no parking garage like what you'd find at American airports. And we don't want our car sitting in the hot desert sun all day. So we're tr driving around trying to figure out a place where we can affordably park for two weeks. So this is the place that we're going to try to park at. Um, they have covered parking and pretty reasonable rates. It looks like we can get... Oh, almost fell. <laughs> looks like we can get parking for two weeks for 140 bucks, which seems pretty reasonable to me. Haven't broken up yet. So we are about to go into the immigration office to sort out our problem. Uh, we were dumb when we came here and didn't know that we had to get our FMM stamped. So in order to fly out of the country, we have to sort that out. Hey, so that was much less painful than I thought it was going to be. We were really worried that it was going to be a, a time intensive process. We got to the airport way earlier than we would normally. It was super fast, super easy. The guy was really nice. I think this is a thing that happens fairly frequently. So. There was no scolding, no shaming or slap on the wrist. Basically, we paid a fine of 638 pesos per person, which works out to be about 30, $34, $32, $34 per person, which really isn't that bad. But basically, you show them your passport and they give you this little stamp right here. Am I close enough? Um, and then you're all set. The whole process probably took like five minutes maybe and now we can go check into our flight technically if you don't have the stamp you're an illegal immigrant and you can be deported and if you live on the southern tip of Baja Sur that is a long ass road trip to get back to the border so this is this is a huge sigh of relief we'll feel a lot more confident traveling through Mexico knowing that uh, all of our paperwork has been legally processed Oh, and then the best part is when we fly back in in two weeks, the stamping process is automatically part of your return. So we're at the border when you drive in, you actually have to go find the Office of Immigration to get your passport stamped. When you fly in, it's done as you're coming in. You don't really have the option to avoid it. All right, so apparently you cannot bring tripods on an airplane, at least not in Mexico. Maybe it might be a rule in the US too, I don't know. But so I emptied everything out of my little backpack and I'm gonna just check this, this one, this bag just with my tripod in it and then go through security again. Not a big deal, we, we budgeted lots of extra time for any snafus or hiccups. Okay, so I just got done going through security for my second time. Checking the bag really wasn't a problem. It, the line was kind of long and processing was slow. Once they actually got to me though, pretty fast. It was only $30 to check the bag, basically the same as the US. And now I just have to go find Cassandra, who I'm told is posted up at some nice eatery place. So apparently you're not supposed to film in the security area. Uh, two very nice people came over and told me that I wasn't allowed and then insisted on watching me delete one of the videos I had made. They only made sure that I deleted one of them, uh, so I, I still have a little bit of good footage. But yeah, uh, that, was, that was kind of funny. I guess I should have known that. 
Has anyone seen my pretty fiance? She's left me alone. Oh, there she is. Hi. It took you long enough. So behind me is this really cool commercial area. I guess for anyone who's flying to the US, this is a really cheap place to, to buy tobacco, alcohol, I'm assuming. Okay, I think we know what everybody wants to see. Let's be real. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, they have people standing around, almost like butlers at a party, giving out tiny little tasters of tequila. I'm, I'm a fan. Salut. Here it is. The good stuff. The mezcal. I thought they would be cheap because they're in the duty-free zone. But holy cow, that is not cheap. It's probably really good, too. Oh, man. You get what you pay for. How much did you pay for me? <laughs> you don't want to know. This is why I love Mexico. These are my people. Gift boxes of hot sauce. Sign me up. Santa, you know where I live. Airports, the only place that it's socially acceptable to be drinking alcohol at 11 o'clock in the morning. Bottoms up. Mm. <laughs> You're looking at $34 worth of bottle of water. Not pleased. Heading to my flight on a bus. Okay, so we are back in the United States of America. We flew into Chicago O'Hare, and now we have to go through U.S. Customs. So, my impressions. You, flying United from Cabo to Chicago. A lot cheaper than flying Delta, but you definitely get what you pay for. First of all, I will say that their offering of in-flight entertainment was most unsatisfactory. Uh, really only a few titles for adults, lots of stuff for kids, not sure 
there are a lot of kids flying unaccompanied from Mexico to the U.S. Um, seems like a strange marketing decision, but I digress. Also, there was not all that much in the way of snacks or beverages, considering that it was a four-hour flight. All right, we made it through Immigración, and now we have to get the single bag that we were forced to check uh, that has nothing but our tripod in it. Luggage carts are signs that God loves us and wants us to be happy. And three, attack him. Okay, we are out on the street waiting for our car rental. We rented through Turo, which is basically like Airbnb for cars. We saved about three to 400 bucks going that route. There was no customs processing after we went through immigration and got our paperwork stamped. It was not nearly as long or painful as I thought it was gonna be. And I am relieved to be able to be a normal person uh, free of the airport again and to be able to eat normal priced food and drink water that does not cost $8 a bottle. It's been several months, baby, but we're back. We're back. We missed you. We hope you missed us.